Weekend snow brings traffic on I-70 to a grinding halt. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. The I-70 Mountain Corridor was busy as always Friday and Saturday before the Sunday snowstorm slashed volumes in half. Just over 97,000 vehicles passed through both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel Friday through Sunday, down 20% compared to last weekend for the first weekend below 100,000 vehicles since early June. Traffic yesterday plummeted to 21,600 vehicles, the lightest Sunday on I-70 since May 10th. Yesterday's snowstorm swung north instead of south, dumping upwards of two feet on the epicenter of Colorado's October wildfires. Red Feather Lakes reports 24 inches, Cameron Pass 21 inches, and Northern Grand County got 15 to 20 inches, putting the hurt on East Troublesome and Cameron Peak fires. East Troublesome fire is 192,000 acres and 15% contained today. Cameron Peak fire is nearly 209,000 acres and 64% contained. An overnight closure of Highway 91 scheduled for tonight has been rescheduled for Thursday. Highway 91 from Copper to Leadville is closed late Thursday from 7 p.m. to 4.30 a.m. to install a pedestrian bridge. Detour from Leadville is U.S. 24 through Minturn to I-70. The bridge is the latest piece of an $11 million multi-year project connecting the 10-mile wreck path to Fremont Pass. When finished, it becomes part of the 82-mile Top of the Rockies Scenic Byway, a wreck path system linking Fremont, Tennessee, and Independence. Independence passes. Summit High School is going virtual. Starting tomorrow, every high school class is online only in response to nine COVID quarantines last week alone, including the varsity football team. School district officials hope students can return to classes by November 9th. This decision is for Summit High only. All other schools are on blended learning. Summit's caseload per 100,000 is 452 today, 100 points over the state's high-risk threshold as positive test rate hits 9.2 percent, the highest since June. Today on the Crystal 93 election primer, we review national questions and topics with insight from county commissioner candidates. Proposition 113 is the national popular vote question, asking voters to repeal the electoral college for presidential elections. Tamara Pogue explains the argument for Prop 113. Some folks play more of a role in the conversation about you know, who chooses the president than others. It really does not force presidential candidates to go to every state and have direct conversations with each of the voters. Ellen Bacher with the argument against. Electoral college was put in place to keep originally states like New York and Virginia from controlling the government. What the reality is, if we have a national popular vote, the people in Colorado and the other states will lose their voice. Two of seven local candidates are unaffiliated, including Bruce Butler, who explains that the current board, full of Democrats, has run its course. People feel like the current county commission has become out of touch. And I, I do hear a lot of people asking for a change. And I'm not picking on the current folks. I think they've served with very good intentions and tried to do the best they can. But there are, is a reason for change, and there is a reason for elections. Butler's opponent, Erin Young, explains her rationale for running unaffiliated. To get through these times means to think outside of traditional governing ways. And I think being an unaffiliated candidate and being a business owner, I see everyone for what they bring to the table. Election day is next Tuesday. Take your ballot to one of five drop-off sites countywide or mail it in ASAP. In local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Team Summit is launching a brand new ski mountaineering program this winter. Head coach Jamie Brady gives the sales pitch. Having fun on skis. I mean, it's got to be fun. If it's not fun, why do it? Schemo athletes learn the basics of technique like kick turns and how to train for grueling uphill races. What to wear, how to eat, how to take care of yourself. You know, that part of my personal coaching philosophy aligns really well with Team Summit. Also new to the club this year is Leah Emis, head coach for Ski Cross and she hopes to reinvigorate a dormant program. It kind of has everything to offer within all the ski disciplines. You know, you race, you jump, you have all sorts of obstacles and features. So it adds a whole different element to skiing, and, and it's a lot of fun. Registration is open now for Skimo and Ski Cross. Learn more at teamsummit.org. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.